Hi there Aquarius, Star Lord is here. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. What I'm doing is um, um, compatibility for the sun sign only. And I'm going through uh, Aries through to Pisces and how and how um, the signs combine with one another. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I think my camera's about to die. But um, what I did was uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, and neutral for longevity. Now, this is based on romantic uh, relationships and how well the signs, um, you know, get along with each other for longevity in a relationship. So we're starting off with Aries. So uh, Aquarius and Aries combination, I gave that one a thumbs up. And the reason being is I've seen this combination work long term. The Aries and Aquarius um, energies do work well with one another. The Aries does appreciate the Aquarian, has a great mind, the intellect, and uh, Aquarians do appreciate the Aries um, ambition and uh, and just the way they approach life. These two signs seem to uh, get along well as friends and their energies for a long-term relationship are pretty good. Aquarius and Taurus, uh, neutral energy. Uh, the reason being is that these two signs tend to have a different outlook on life. Uh, the Taurus is very uh, ambitious, and um, but in a different way than the Aries. And they tend to be uh, more of homebodies in the sense that uh, <clears throat> they enjoy the home and they enjoy cuddles and, and stuff and they're very romantic. Whereas the Aquarian energy doesn't really, it can work with the, the Taurus on that level, but it doesn't really work long term um, because the the Aquarian is just uh, more of a world-minded person, uh, whereas the Taurus is very grounded energy and is uh, more concerned with security of of the home and of the couple and the family, whereas the Aquarian's energy is more that of the concern for the world's welfare. And uh, the way that Aquarius approaches uh, life and thinks about things is quite different from the Taurus energy it can work but like that's why it's neutral but for long term not really um aquarius and gemini i gave that combination thumbs up these two signs seem to work very well together they're both air uh, air energy and they understand each other the way each other's minds work and that can work long term uh, very well uh, the Gemini does tend to understand the Aquarian. These two can talk for hours and hours upon any subject. Um, both have uh, great intellect. The Gemini's wit will always make everybody laugh. Um, the next one we have is the Cancer Aquarian combination neutral. I have seen this combination work long term. However, it's not really ideal because of the fact that the Cancer approaches life from an emotional standpoint, can be extremely emotional, whereas Aquarians can be very much emotionally detached. So when you have the, that two combination, it can work. However, um, it's probably um, not the, the greatest match in terms of, uh, you know, comfortability or... Uh, or uh, just, uh, it just, like I said, it can work on some level because the Cancer can make a very grounded home for the Aquarian. The Aquarians can be very structured and both signs tend to be very loyal to one another, to the home. So it can work on some level, but on another level, not so much. On the emotional level, not so much. Uh, Aquarius and Leo, that combination i gave it a thumbs down uh this is because this is your opposite sign and like i told all the other signs i give the opposite sign for longevity a thumbs down because although these two energies can be extremely attracted to one another 
because our opposite signs are at the base are similar to us and therefore it's kind of like that mirror effect where we look and we see our, a, a bit of ourselves in the other person. However, long term, these relationships can be extremely tumultuous and can be very, very difficult, especially when you're dealing with fixed signs like Aquarius and Leo. Uh, both signs are very stubborn and uh, this can oftentimes end in disaster. So that's why I give that a uh, thumbs down. The Aquarius Virgo combination, I gave a thumbs up to. I've seen this combination work very well together. The uh, Virgo really appreciates the Aquarian's mind and vice versa. Both signs um, tend towards the intellectual and um, they can talk, like with the Gemini, they can talk and talk for hours together and they can build a life together. Uh, the Aquarians can be grounded, especially when they're with a grounded sign like a Virgo. So that's definitely a thumbs up. The next one we have is Aquarius with Libra. Thumbs up to that combination. Both air signs and can understand where each other's coming from. The emotional detachment doesn't really bother Libra too much since they're more cerebral and intellectual themselves. That combo can uh, definitely last a long time. Um, Aquarius and Scorpio, that combination, I have seen it work. It's neutral though because of the fact that um, they appreciate each other's intellect and mind. However, long term, their energies don't exactly match because of the intensity of the emotional side of Scorpio mixing with the emotionally detached Aquarius can cause problems. So that's why it's neutral. Now, Aquarius with Sagittarius, I gave that combination, thumbs up. These two signs tend to uh, be two peas in a pod. They can understand each other. Not a lot of grounding energy there. The grounding would probably more so come from the Aquarian. Um, they can be, Aquarians can uh, be structured because of the fixedness of their sign. The Sagittarius um, is very uh, freedom loving and the Aquarian would totally understand that. Um, the Aquarius with Capricorn, that those two energies, thumbs down for longevity, I say because of the fact that the Aquarians, again, being um, more about the, the world at large, whereas the Capricorn is more down to earth and concerned about, you know, the, the home, the family, the, the grounded stuff. And uh, these two, although can be friends, don't really have a whole lot in common for longevity. Aquarius with uh, Aquarius, the, the two signs together, that combination, thumbs up, definitely. Uh, those two understand each other and obviously are coming from the same place and would be able to talk for hours and have a lot of uh, really good intellectual conversations. And I have seen this combination last for a very long time. Both of them are very loyal signs and uh, will be loyal to each other for a long time. Aquarius and Pisces, that combination together, neutral because of the fact that it's it would be very hard for a Pisces, an emotional Pisces, to try and find grounding with um, an Aquarius that is uh, more emotionally detached. So that would be a tough thing for uh, longevity because the Piscean would always be looking for that uh, emotional fulfillment to come from the partner and the partner is just not really an overly emotional sign. Although they do have a lot in common, that's why it's neutral and would be could be very much attracted to one another. And uh, the Pisces could probably, you know, would love to sit there and listen to the Aquarian go on for hours and, and the Piscean would probably have their own stories to tell. And so definitely on a friend's level, very good combination, but longevity in a romantic level, I don't know about that so much. But I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little video. And if you did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment in the, the section below because I would love to hear about your experiences with, uh, with the different signs. And uh, this is based on sun sign alone, right? 
and a lot of other things come into play sometimes it's the you know the moon and the, when it comes to astrology it's the whole chart that will make the difference with uh, with people but this is just my experience from knowing astrology the way I do and from what I've seen over the years with people that I know so yeah looking forward to hearing from you okay Aquarius you guys take care until next time bye for now